Nextfest is around the corner, and if you're already registered or not, here's your friendly reminder. You need a proper Steam page, a polished demo, and more wishlists than the one your mum gave you. Steam won't say it outright, but if your wishlist count is low, your visibility will be too. This isn't a meritocracy, it's a numbers game. And wishlists aren't technically required by Steam to join Nextfest. But without them, you're basically walking into a marathon with flip-flops. When it comes to your Steam page, presentation isn't just important, it's critical. Your capsule image, description, and trailer are the first impressions players get, and they can significantly influence whether someone decides to learn more about your game or moves on. It's essential that these look professional and align with the expectations of your game's genre. According to insights from How to Market a Game, using genre-specific visual cues in your capsule can help attract the right audience. For instance, if you're developing a crafting game, incorporating elements like tools or workbenches can immediately signal the game's focus to potential players. The most common advice here is don't make your own capsule art. Just don't. You're not good enough. You're just not. Just to not do your capsule art yourself, but hire someone. But these can get really expensive, so you may want to just wing it. I have a proposition for you. If you have a good sketch and are on a low budget, we can ask my wife to illustrate it. She's an artist and has no idea about this proposal. I'll tell her it's for me and wash the dishes for a week or change that light bulb she keeps reminding me of yearly. We can figure something out. But importantly, you must have a sketch or composition as she's not a graphic designer, but can make something beautiful if given the framework. Even though Steam no longer requires a trailer for your game's page, having one can significantly enhance your game's appeal. A well-crafted trailer demonstrates professionalism and gives players a visual and auditory glimpse into your game. It's recommended to showcase actual gameplay within the first few seconds to immediately capture interest. Avoid starting with logos or lengthy cinematic sequences. Instead, focus on the gameplay experience. Your description should be concise and informative, focusing on what players will do in the game rather than delving into extensive lore or backstory. Highlight the core gameplay mechanics and unique features that set your game apart. For example, instead of writing, in a world torn by war, heroes rise, you might say, engage in fast-paced tactical battles where every decision counts. This approach provides clarity and helps players quickly understand what to expect. All right, time to talk about your demo and the sign-up process. Submitting your game to Nextfest isn't automatic. You have to opt in through Steamworks by filling out the event form and confirming your game qualifies. Timing is everything, but waiting until the last minute is a great way to discover a show-stopping bug the night before your deadline. Get your demo uploaded early. Steam doesn't require you to make it public right away, you can use a separate branch to test and refine. To get an idea of how to upload a demo, you can check out my other video where I showed how I did it for Hexbound. Finishing touches matter more here than in any other part of your dev cycle when considering Steam Nextfest. A broken demo during Nextfest isn't just a hiccup, it's a visibility killer. When people download and uninstall due to a crash or bug, they move on to the next thing, and Steam notices the bounce rate. Some good practices include test your build relentlessly, play it, break it, then give it to someone who thinks dragging the My Computer icon into the recycling bin will blow their computer and see if they can handle things in your demo without your help. Second, front load your best content. Players have a queue of demos to try. If you wait five minutes to show them what's cool about your game, they'll be long gone. Hook them early, give them the fun part fast. Don't save it for level four. Treat your demo like a first date. You don't need to show everything, but if you show up late, underdressed, and talk only about lore, you're not getting a second chance. Wishlists are Steam's love language. They're also Steam's currency, handshake, horoscope, and dating profile. Everything the algorithm does is influenced by how many wishlists you've got under your belt. Here's how it works. Steam's algorithm isn't particularly creative. It rewards games that are already gaining traction. Wishlists are one of the clearest signals Steam has that people care about your game. The more wishlists you have going into Nextfest, the more likely to get more impressions and be shown around like a new baby photo in a Facebook mum group. And no, you can't just wing it once the event starts. That's like planting seeds during a harvest. Most of the visibility benefits happen because of wishlists accumulated before the fest kicks off. Devs with 10,000 get free real estate on every user's screen. Make it your full-time job to collect wishlists in the months before Nextfest. Post on social, send email updates, ask your target audience or community to wishlist. Build a trailer that ends with a giant glowing wishlist now prompt. Put it in your Twitter bio. Tattoo it on your dog if you have to. In short, wishlists are your ticket in. Steam won't say it outright, but it's not picking favorites based on quality. It's picking favorites based on metrics. And wishlists are the biggest, loudest metric you control. So how many wishlists are we talking about? If you enter Nextfest with fewer than 500 wishlists, you'll barely make a ripple. Around 2,000 wishlists is where games start to see meaningful traction during the fest. Inclusion in discovery queues, possible appearances in the popular upcoming section, 
and an actual chance at charting. If you hit 10,000 wishlists before the event starts, congratulations! You're now in Steam's cool zone. Your game is likely to show up in newsletters, algorithmic placements, and ride the visibility waves throughout the fest. But don't fixate on big numbers if you're starting from scratch. Focus on momentum. A few dozen new wishlists every day in the weeks leading up to the fest is far better than a one-time tweet that gets ignored. Okay, you're in. Now what? This is where you switch hats, from game dev to hype machine. You've got seven days to make noise, and Steam isn't going to do it for you unless you give it reasons to. Steam lets you run live streams directly on your game's page, and during Next Fest, that page can get serious traffic. A lot of players will lurk for a minute before downloading, and seeing real gameplay, especially with dev commentary, helps convert them. You don't need a whole studio setup, just a mic, OBS, and something to say while you play. Now let's talk outreach. Post on your socials daily. Highlight clips, funny bugs, unexpected player reactions, and wishlist now reminders. A one-time launch tweet isn't enough. You need sustained presence. If you've got a mailing list, send updates halfway through the fest to remind people to check the demo. And if you don't have a mailing list, that's your next homework assignment. Finally, don't disappear. Next fest is not the time to go silent and hope the algorithm carries you. Next fest can change your game's trajectory, but only if you treat it like a launch, not an afterthought. It's a one-week opportunity to grab real players, real wishlists, and real feedback. You need to show up loud, confident, and ready to impress. If you've been watching from the sidelines, waiting for the stars to align, this is the sign. Get your page polished, get that demo tight, and build hype before it starts. Because once Next Fest begins, it's go time. No one's handing out participation trophies. Your game deserves the best shot you can give it. And Steam Next Fest is one of the few moments where the playing field is actually tilted slightly in your favor if you show up prepared. So go make something cool. Be smart about how you show it. And most of all, don't vanish after your demo goes live. Good luck out there and may the algorithm notice you. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you'd like to support me or the channel, a wishlist and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. I'm also preparing a new Discord channel for chatting and developing together with you. And once it's ready, you'll find the link in the description. Thank you and see you in the next one.